be driving along and I'd be like, oh, mailbox, whoa, oh, car, ah, oh, mailbox and car at the same time, ah! <laughs> that was my first day. So guys, I went camping last week and it was amazing. I had so much fun. And last night I stayed to like four o'clock in the morning. It was great, I think. Anyway, so I'm up here near the Kentucky border and I'm here near with some friends and I have a hookup, but I don't have the right plug to hook up to. So I have no power for like three days. So I'm not concerned about it, but my fridge, it has, it's a, the dual fridge. It has the uh, propane that can heat it and I have propane. I don't know how much though. And I haven't used the propane option enough to know like how much propane I need for it to last how many days. So I think I might end up moving all my groceries into my friend's fridge temporarily until my, my adapter comes in for the mail. Ah! <laughs> anyway, so like I, I, I have way too much glass stuff. So like whenever I move timber, I have to like secure everything and it's, it's a lot of work so like when I start hitting the road more I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to secure my glassware or else just get rid of it but I love glass I love like canning jars and mason jars and drinking them and using them as cups and I have all these mugs <sighs> oh it's really sad okay so <laughs> I was like running around like hanging out with my friends and I had this cup of coffee and I was using it I had it in my mug this mug right here I have two of these I did and I lost one. I, it's like a little vintage mug my friend gave me. And now I only have one. So if this one breaks, I'm screwed. <laughs> it's like my favorite. It's such a pretty color. <laughs> I was like, oh! And like one of my like old vintage silver spoons were in it too. And I was like, because I like holding my mug with a spoon in it. I don't know why. It's just, I guess it's my trademark. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm trying to like re-unsecure everything because everything's been secured during the travel. And Timber, um, Stormy did good. There's Stormy. He, he did amazing. I'm really happy with his performance. He's done great. And so now I've actually pulled Timber twice. I feel like the second time I did it, like, I knew how to hitch it up. I knew, like, I mean, I've hitched Timber up before, but, like, not with this truck. And so, like, there was some, like, height differences and stuff I had to adjust for with the torsion bars. Or is it contortion? Contortion? Torsion? I don't know. And then the sway bar. So... That, that was some new stuff there, but like the second time it was kind of a breeze and, um, yeah. And then when I was driving, I start I felt much more comfortable driving it than the first time. The first time was hard cause it was the first time, you know? <laughs> so now I feel much more comfortable doing it. So that's great. Yeah. So I really like my new spot. It has a pretty good view. It has like some really nice, um, in a, it has an old hot tub right there, which, oh, there's someone's hair has an old hot tub right there which my my neighbors are fixing but yeah it's nice the birds are singing it's great just gotta get hook up <laughs> so yeah that's the update for now I guess I don't know if there's anything like any tips or tricks I've learned along the way but yeah so like I mean learning like driving your first time like down the road with your bumper pull trailer that's you know filling up the whole road. Of course, mine's only 18 feet long, so I don't know how people who have, like, twice as long campers do it. Like, it's like, wow, how do you do it? I don't know. So, like, I'll, like, swing out way wide around the corners, and I'm like, it's like, I, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> My trailer's not that long. <laughs> I'll be driving along, and I'll be like, oh, mailbox, whoa, oh, car, ah, oh, mailbox and car at the same time, ah! <laughs> that was my first day, but my second day, I felt a lot more, more comfortable yeah so that's that and I have I actually went grocery shopping like legit grocery shopping for like I had some chicky friends that were bunking with me and I had to buy them food you know so yeah it's good stuff all right for now and out I guess Saranara all those fancy goodbye words and other languages so you guys take care and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, I'm back. I just thought I'd share with you guys another art project I did. So here's a t-shirt design that I did. Um, it's called Wild and Free. And it's like got a, like a little Volkswagen and like a small little teardrop remake. 
sauce of some sort. I don't know. Anyway, I had super fun making it. And if you guys are interested in checking out any more of my t-shirt designs, go down to the link below, Spread Shop Timber and Stormy, and check it out. All right, guys, you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one.